Now with Dr. Jan, who's taking a look at some of the questions that you are sending in. And here's the first question right here. Are there benefits to drinking spearmint tea for PCOS? And I have a question. What, what? in the world is PCOS? Yes, because you know how we love the acronyms mm -hmm. and letters in medicine. So it stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome, thought to affect about 15%, mm. maybe even higher, of women. Um, it is referred to and known as, in the field of gynecology, the most common but least well understood hormonal disorder affecting women. Uh, so in my opinion, we cannot talk about it enough. The diet, nutrition, hormonal interaction, it is, that is the sweet spot, in my opinion, uh, of both gynecology and women's health. This is interesting because there have been reports in the peer review medical literature, small, granted, but, but compelling, that there's an anti-androgenic, which just means kind of anti-testosterone, anti-male hormone effect in women with PCOS who have excessive hair, whether that's facial or body hair, when they drink peppermint tea. It's unclear why, but two cups a day in small studies have been shown over as, as short as one month to lower acne and body hair. So again, when you talk about any kind of intervention, you guys have heard me say this so many times, risk benefit, what's the risk of drinking peppermint tea twice a day? Not a lot, right? So it helps with that and little fuzz up here. It might. It, and, and now here's the thing when you're talking about hirsutism or hair uh, with polycystic ovarian syndrome, you have to wait a long time to see the results. This one particular study that I looked at saw results in 30 days. Again, it was a small study. But in general, when you talk about hair, either seeing more or seeing less, you have to wait several months, and that's just because of the life cycle of a hair follicle. And this has been all over TikTok as well for like hormonal acne, yeah, spearmint. Yeah, there you go, mm. anti-androgenic. So that just means potential for anti-testosterone. Um, and again, very little risk, potentially a benefit. So go ahead and try it. You are a prescription for wellness. Okay, so today has to do with how to stop those racing, busy mind thoughts that so many of us have both day and night, um, particularly at night. So some tips. Number one, stay in the moment. Stay in the present. Don't worry about things too far in the future or the past because they're usually not in your control. Use a mantra. So that's just a comfortable saying that you can repeat to yourself over and over again when you want to refocus yourself. And then writing your thoughts down on paper, believe it or not, the old-fashioned way can just remove it from here put it somewhere that you can compartmentalize and say I'm gonna talk to a mental health professional or talk to someone else or just revisit this at another time but there it is not there that's good advice there I'm always thinking about what I have to do the next day or the day after and it just never turns off right just in the moment be in the moment Exactly. All, right, what was <laughs> all right, Doc, thank you very much. And folks, we would love to hear from you, so hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions for Dr. Jen at ABC GMA3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.